I want to show you guys what I'm doing to prepare my bees for winter and I'm going to be making the candy bricks or sugar bricks candy board whatever you want to call it it's basically just sugar that you put inside your hive um, over winter and what it does is it gives the bees an emergency source of carbohydrates in case they run through all of their stored honey and it also acts as a moisture absorbing medium uh, similar to what you'd use a quilt box for or uh, wood shavings or anything like that inside your hive. This is um, a shallow, it's basically just a shallow spacer. Uh, made out of one and a half inch thick wood and in the in middle of that spacer is a space where I'm going to be uh, molding the candy bricks or sugar mixed with water and any other supplements that you want to add such as a protein source or um, a pollen substitute type thing or even varroa treatment uh, like tea tree oil or thyme oil or anything like that can also be mixed into your sugar. And when, the thing that the protein supplement would do is that if your bees also ran out of pollen stores, which they might do, especially by the end of winter, uh, when they'd actually start to be using this sugar substitute, they might also be out of pollen at the same time. So it is a good idea to mix... Uh, a protein maybe in the center of the brick or incorporate it some way uh, to provide your bees a protein source in case they run out. So this is just um, a standard 16 and a fourth by 19 and 7 eighths standard Langstrup dimensions and in the inside here there's a space that's roughly 10 by 16 and a fourth or whatever. Now these pieces of wood are in a rabbit. You can see this groove here. And they're just to help support the sugar uh, in case uh, to, in case it wants to break up and fall through. I thought that these uh, wood supports might just add a little rigidity to the big sugar brick. And just for the forming of the brick, there's a piece of newspaper so it doesn't stick uh, to anything and then in the bottom there's a temporary piece of particle board that's uh, screwed in one screw on either side and what that is doing is just providing a flat bottom and a removable uh, so I can move this this frame around until that sugar and water mixture dries into a hard brick uh, I plan on removing the OSB board and hopefully we'll see if these supports are enough to add the rigidity uh, so that this, this entire spacer can be removed uh, onto the hive without having the sugar fall through. In here is sugar from, fine sugar from a candy factory and it was 20 pounds of sugar mixed with two cups of water and a couple of drops of tea tree oil just because I had it lying around and I did notice a small mite problem in one of my hives. Just making sure that it's all incorporated and I'll do that real quick. So just giving it another quick stir, and now I'm going to fill up this void that I created halfway, pound it down, and then fill it the rest of the way, and pound that down. As you notice, there are bits of candy in it. This is probably a root beer candy. The bees don't like it, they won't eat it. So I just left it in. 
In the past, I've actually sifted the sugar to make sure there wasn't any of the candy bits, but um, I'm not too worried about it. And it is just sugar and food coloring for the most part. Here it is, all pounded in, and now I'm going to put it in a oven on the lowest setting. Now if you do this early enough in the year, you can just leave this out in a sunny spot, and it will, sunny dry spot, and it will dry on its own. It'll probably take a couple of weeks. Even in the oven, I expect it's going to take at least four or five hours to get a lot of the moisture. So it's going to be in the oven for a better part of the day. And yeah, I'll give you an update on how well this works in the hive. If those supports in the embedded in the middle of this actually hold up and are able to support the candy. And I'm excited to see how well my bees do over winter. And I'll got, keep you guys updated. Here's one that's already been in the oven for 45 minutes and it, the oven's on the lowest setting, which I just checked, and that's 170 degrees. Yeah, I'm about to put the other one in and maybe crack the door of the oven a little and just let it go for a few hours. Thanks for watching and until next time.